Benjamin. I was going to start whacking down some trees today, but it's kind of getting windy, so uh, I'll have to put that off for a bit. So uh, here in Canada, we have about a, well, at the time of this video, a little more than a month or so, and we get more taxes to pay. Seems like uh, <laughs> I could make a video once a week and then it would always be about taxes going up. Yeah, once again, it's fuel. It's going to be a total of uh, 61 cents per liter that we'll be paying on fuel come uh, July 1st. That's 2023. And what it is, is it's another 17 cents on top of the 41 cents. We're already paying for this carbon tax, which incidentally has done absolutely nothing. Canada being one of the most carbon neutral countries because we have so many trees that eat carbon. Anyways, yeah, so they're putting another 17 cents on and then they're taxing the tax, which is, I never didn't know you could tax tax, but I guess here in Canada, anything can be done. Now this isn't going to affect everybody, just the, uh, well, probably the middle class and the uh, lower cl class, which is now the majority of Canada. Um, lower income anyways, I shouldn't say lower class. The lower income people are the ones that more of their paycheck goes towards uh, fuel to get to work. Uh, groceries all those things go up when when fuel goes up groceries go up just as much well everything goes up so yeah it probably won't affect the politicians though Some of you watch my channel, you might be saying, well, you got an electric car anyways, it doesn't matter for you, but it kind of does. Uh, I still eat food, so that's, that's going to affect me. As far as the electric car thing goes, that's kind of funny. I lost a bunch of subscribers when I bought an electric car. <laughs> Well, living rural like this, it's going to be to the point where this price of fuel, you just won't be able to afford to get to work. So that, that $1,000 a month I was spending in fuel, it's down to 150 now. But yeah, the government's pushing these electric cars. Pretty soon nobody will have a choice. If the price of fuel keeps going up, what do you do? Either live under a bridge or live in a city somewhere there's transportation or drive something that costs you almost nothing anyways I'm not gonna try to push electric cars on anybody because to each his own okay they have something here in Canada they they call tax-free day <laughs> what that is is it's uh, it's as if you worked a year and you gave, you paid all your taxes with every cent you made for that year, you would have to work, oh, it's almost six months, and give the government every penny you make for almost six months, and then you start getting paid, just to show how much you actually pay in taxes. What it, it's about 45, it's over 45% of what you make, you're paying in taxes. And, uh, well, I guess they're going to have to push that further down the calendar because they're adding more taxes. So, who knows? Could be up to 50%. Who knows? I could use some oil. I hate making these videos about taxes, but uh, it just keeps happening. I don't see no sprinkling going on here. 
Okay, apparently there's something wrong with my sprinkler. <laughs> All right, I gotta look for another sprinkler. This is lame. Well, I sort of found one. Ah. Yeah, that's much better. Just gonna have to move it a bunch of times throughout the day. You know, normally we have a soaker hose running through this, but we just haven't got around to it yet. It's still spring here. It's just really hot. I guess since I'm talking about taxes, I should also mention that uh, here in Canada, we also have uh, employment insurance, EI they call that and CPP, Canadian Pension Plan, that's taken directly off your check. They call it uh, contributions to make it sound kind of like you're just like willingly donating to them. Well, both of those just recently went up as well. Do you get more money from them? <laughs> no, no. All you get is you get to pay more money. That's all. You know, I once heard some moron here in Canada say uh, the budget will balance itself. <laughs> well, uh, I guess maybe this is how he plans on having the budget balance itself. So I guess I should mention, like, pretty soon I'll be uh, starting to take down some of these birch trees here. I mentioned it in a previous video. We have about 20 acres worth of... Uh, well, assorted trees, and a lot of them are birch, and the tops are all dying. Well, the whole tree is dying, but they start dying at the tops. I'll, I'll show what's going on there, and I'll start taking some down. I don't know whether I'll be using, I'll probably use the machine to push them over. Um, I'm not sure yet, or I'll just cut them with a chainsaw, but they're kind of dangerous to cut, so maybe the machine might be a better uh, better solution to that. As far as it goes with the wood from them, they... I mean, birch birch is good for flooring. If you cut it, if it's cut on the mill and it's cut very thin, you can use it for flooring. But otherwise, it warps too much for to use it for anything else. So I guess if, you, if it's kiln dried and everything else, it would be okay, but uh, I don't have that here, so it'll probably end up being a lot of firewood that we get. Anyways, I thought I'd just make this short video just letting people know that uh, they're going to be paying more for fuel. Uh, well, come this summer anyways. I guess it's like every other summer, fuel goes up. Just this time it'll probably go up more. Thanks for watching.